Pixel 9 Pro XL is just a bigger Pixel 9 Pro but that's good enough. It doesn't have exclusive camera features or extra RAM for a boost. It is just got a bigger display and a bigger battery. That means the Pixel 9 Pro is an even better pick this year. But it also means that you can choose your phone based on the size you like, not the features you need. The Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is available for pre-order now for US dollar and it will be on shelves August 22, the same day as the Pixel 9. Google is holding the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Fold a bit longer until September 4, so if you want a new Pixel as soon as possible, the XL is the best phone you can choose. The Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is 99% the same phone as the Google Pixel 9 Pro. If you think that makes sense, you haven't been following the world of smartphones because phone makers like Apple and Samsung always save one or two special tricks for the biggest phones they make. If you want the best cameras or all of the hidden feature, you must buy the biggest phones. Not so with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Every feature that you will find on the Pixel 9 Pro XL is also available on the smaller Pixel 9 Pro, even the 5x zoom camera. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has two distinct hardware advantages over Pixel 9, but neither of them are completely clear and both are related to the larger size. First of all, the Pixel 9 Pro XL gets a larger 6.8-inch Super Actual display. It's much bigger than the 6.3-inch screen on the Pixel 9 Pro and it packs more pixels, offering a higher resolution. So, is the Pixel 9 Pro XL screen better? Not exactly. Both displays can reach the same eye-burning 3000 nits peak brightness. Both displays use LTPO technology for a lower power always on display that runs at an astonishing 1 Hz. Both offer 24-bit color and the same contrast ratio and other specs. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has more pixels but with a larger screen area, the pixels get a bit more room to spread out. Because the Pixel 9 Pro packs its pixels more densely, we'd say that screen is marginally sharper with a higher pixel density. In truth, the difference is probably invincible to human eyes and both phones are more sharp than any iPhone or Galaxy phone you can buy right now. Google makes the best displays for a smartphone, whether you get the big one or the small one. And this is the entire point of the Google Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL. The only choice to make is big one or small one. You don't have to wonder whether you really need a 5x zoom camera like the iPhone 15 Pro Max offers, instead of only 3x zoom as you get the iPhone 15 Pro. Apple is being kind to pro buyers with Samsung. If you want the best cameras, you can't just buy the larger Galaxy S24 Plus. That phone has the same cameras as the Galaxy S24. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is the real step up and it's a huge step up to 200 megapixel on the main sensor, a 5x zoom lens, larger sensors all around and more. Oh, and you buy the Galaxy Ultra phone, you have to take the S Pen. Samsung doesn't make a phone with the best cameras and no pen for those who don't want or need it. When I asked Google to spell out clearly the differences between the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL, I got two answers. The first was the display as mentioned, the second was more cryptic power. I assumed Google meant a larger battery inside, but there's something else going on. The Pixel 9 Pro XL does indeed have a larger battery. The XL phone comes with a battery that's around 5060 mAh, while the Pixel 9 Pro uses a cell that's only 4700 mAh, the same capacity as the battery in the Pixel 9. Charging speed has been improved to 45W and Google says this phones charge faster than any Pixel that came before. That's not a very lofty claim, but I do appreciate fast charging. Unfortunately, you will have to find a fast charger because Google doesn't include a new fangled plug in the box. Here is where things get weird. 
the Pixel 9 and 9 Pro can both use a 45 watt charger just like the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Google says the smaller phones will charge up to 55% in about 30 minutes, so they will fill around 2600 mAh of battery in 30 minutes. The Pixel 9 Pro XL will reach up to 70% charge in about 30 minutes using the same 45 watt charger. Google claims that it will charge more than 3500 mAh in the same time the Pixel 9 Pro takes to charge 2600 mAh with the same 45 watt charger. I am very curious about this and I will investigate during my full review. Other than the larger screen and the apparent power differences, there really is no other difference between the Pixel 9 Pro XL and the Pixel 9 Pro. This is an unusual development but quite welcome as I think it will make the Pixel 9 family as a whole much easier to explain to potential buyers. If you are considering the Pixel 9 Pro XL, it's an easier choice this year. You don't have to pay more just because you wanted the best cameras. If that's all you needed, you can save money and order the smaller Pixel 9 Pro without hesitation. If you mostly wanted a larger display, the Pixel 9 Pro XL gives you the best big display you'll find on a smartphone today. It's bright and colorful, a real winner with great low power LTPO features as well. There was no Excel model last year, but I should note that the Pixel 8 Pro went on sale within a month of launch to coincide with the end of year shopping season. This year's Pixel 9 family launches months earlier, but I'd still anticipate aggressive sales to come before the year ends. If you don't need this phone right away, it wouldn't hurt to wait for a deal. It's still early days for both of Google's new Pixel 9 Pros. Fablet fans can get their hands on the Pixel 9 Pro XL on August 2022, while anyone obsessed with smaller devices will need to wait for the Pixel 9 Pro on September 4th. Overall, I walked away from both devices feeling a renewed sense of excitement towards Pixel that I am not sure I have felt since the Pixel 6 series. But on the other hand, I wouldn't blame anyone for waiting for a more re revolutionary chipset especially considering the rumors for next year's Pixel 10. But if Google has nailed the basics here, solid performance, good battery life and relatively cool thermals, we could be looking at the best Android experience you can buy today now available in two different sizes.